All right. Well, it was a good spirited practice. We ended up with a two minute uh, drill, and there were some good things uh, done offensively and defensively. Uh, we were in non pads today, and that fulfilled our third day of non pads. Uh, Thursday's practice will be padded, and we need to uh, mix it up a little bit. I think we had. You know, some guys that are able to come back now that are going to be able to practice, uh, you know, pretty full on Thursday. So we're excited about that. So we'll need to get some good work in and then get ourselves ready for a spring game. You know, we talked about the running backs a little bit. So many guys going down. Has it been kind of frustrating? Because you don't want to ever see guys go down, but to evaluate those guys, especially your top two guys that right. went out. Do you almost feel like when ball camp starts, you're kind of starting from scratch again, so um, to speak? You know, we are. And uh, that's disappointing, but that's sometimes how the chips fall during course of spring football. I think it's been good to, you know, see the guys who are out there. Um, they're able to compete. You know, uh, Nico's done some good things. Mike Green's done some good things, and we appreciate their effort. We'll have two healthy running backs uh, for the spring game, and you're at the Alamo. They better keep on going. <laughs> how would you characterize last Saturday's scrimmage, Coach? Well, you know what? Uh, we were really pleased with the offensive line. I thought we made some good strides there, it's not only as assignments, but also pad level. I thought our running backs ran hard. Um, you know, and I thought the quarterbacks were, it was probably the best two days, our best day for those two guys. So, you know, the decision making and their competency on both the two quarterbacks was good. Coach, the O line group seems to be one that's actually been pretty healthy this mm -hmm. camp. Are you guys happy with the, I guess, depth that you've been able to maybe develop this? this well, spring? we're happy with the progress and uh, certainly the depth. I think we're deeper than we've ever been <clears throat> since I've been our head coach. Uh, there's some more room to uh, to be made. You know, we still have some younger guys that are playing, but you know, I think you've seen some guys that are older, like Caden Jackson, continue to do a good job leading, um, and so that's going to be an important group uh, for us to to have uh, progress. Because uh, you know, if you're going to run the football, you better have a good offensive line. I know Coach Hoops has said he'd like to have eight guys, and even more mm -hmm. possibly. Do you feel like? Maybe not sure where guys will play, but you feel like you got eight offensive line. Well, we have eight guys that are competing right now. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say we're completely uh, efficient with all eight, uh, but uh, we're like I said, we're deeper than we have been. Coach, I know you mentioned the quarterback battles kind mm -hmm. of for that you know second spot after right. Antonio. Um, I know CJ was kind of the guy on deck last year. If, if right. Keon's in the mix, are you, has he been kind of taking a step forward this camp? I guess Keon uh, has done a good job and. So we'll, we'll, you know, that's going to be a, a uh, <clears throat> an area that we're really going to evaluate during the course of sp the spring game. Coach, I know you mentioned you want to be outside for the spring game. Mm -hmm. no we are going to be outside. <laughs> <laughs> but, no matter what, because like I said, your first two scrimmages, you didn't get any special teams mm -hmm. kicking, punting no. work. And how important is it to get out there, if for anything, just for that, to get those guys some work? Uh, we're concerned about the, uh, you know, some of the kicking aspects of the game that you really can't do until you're in the stadium. So. That'll be important for us today with live kickoffs and punk coverage and things like that.